message from the superintendent of Bixby Public Schools called Return to Learn is on Facebook, outlining the guidelines parents must follow to send their children back to school or online learning this year. Yeah, our Tatiana Taylor joins us live this morning explaining those details, beginning with distance online learning. And Tatiana, what do parents need to know? Well, Travis and Corey, the big question on so many parents' minds right now is what, what are they going to do? Now, school will remain in person as long as COVID-19 remains in a controlled, calm state. The district released a three-level plan last night, each including changes that depend on the severity of the spread of COVID-19 within the school. In plan one, if there is minimal or no active transmission of the coronavirus within BPS, teachers, staff, and students are highly encouraged to wear a face covering at all times when physical distancing is not possible. In plan two, if isolated evidence of active transmission of the virus in BPS schools or classrooms spread, it's possible the district may limit fan participation at school, athletic events, and activities. But if there is evidence of a, quote, significant transmission of cases in buildings or throughout the district, Bix Bixby says it will suspend in-person school completely. Like right now, your Spartan is heading back to school on time August 13th, and they'll go back back with a level one procedures with masks required on all school buses at arrival and dismissal every day. Now there's a lot more going on with this plan. You can find out all this information and more, including the 11 page document on our website at KGRH.com. Live in Bixby, I'm Tatiana Taylor, two works for you.